What's going on guys? Welcome to Poe Boys. I am Poe and today is a sad day. Um, I'm in my backyard. The reason I'm in my backyard is because we're going to take the first and last cinematic sequence with this bike. I hate to say it guys, but uh, moving forward on the channel, we're getting rid of the Poe bike. That doesn't mean the channel is going to get worse by any means. So just stay tuned for a little bit later. Trust me, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this because this is sad, man. Well guys, I just took the last ride on this bike. It was pretty good. I liked it. Man, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss the crap out of this bike, but better things are coming. This guy's gonna buy this thing. Let's let it happen. So he texted that he was here. He literally said, okay, I'm here. And that was six minutes ago. And I'm just waiting for him to pull up. He said, where are you? I'm gonna send him a video. Oh, I think he just now got it. He said, wait, I think he's parked on the other side of that nukes. <laughs> he's going to come to this side and he's going to be like, oh, there he is. Man, why does it happen to me all the time? And it's not even me. Like, this happened to Gavin last year, literally the same time. Oh, man. I said, what are you driving? And he said, you're mom what a you know that saying when life gives you lemons make lemonade life just gave me a lemon and i'm painting that shit gold i just capitalized extra y'all are gonna see what's going on one of my buddies he's been wanting my bike for a minute now and i think he's finally gonna come through and pick it up we're gonna make something happen let's go ahead and continue get this thing sold well i'm getting this that man is riding my bike it's about to be his it's a really sad day but at the same time i'm kind of happy <laughs> Bro, it just wants to throw you back. It wants, it wants to. It's so powerful. Man, it's sad. Here's this 250R. That's the bike I'm getting on top of some cash. You mind if I take it on one last glory spin in the rest? boy man man okay so trading out the old og street legal bike going off road for a little bit this bike needs a little bit of work but getting a little money on top of it as well chris gonna be doing some work on this bike we're gonna be riding with him eventually i'm gonna be doing some work on this bike take it to the track but i figured y'all would want a little bit of new content yeah the po bike's gone i'm kind of sad about it but at the same time we got new stuff coming so let's go ahead continue with this Oh my goodness. Wow. It's happening. It's really just happening. Ladies and gentlemen, it has happened. <laughs> just got a lot more real. Dead gun, man. Well, thank you very much. Heck yeah. Enjoy it, man. <laughs> Pope Ike is no longer. Peace out, brother. And there it goes. Oh boy. Wow, fam, that's bittersweet. Man, this thing's been sitting in the house for just a little bit and I cannot wait to freaking get to tearing into it and get this thing going. Like I said, it's a 250R fuel injected and it weighs 226 pounds and it makes like 36 horsepower or something like that. So this thing pretty much scoots uh, wheelies and it is geared for going fast. Super high torque gear. This thing's solid, suspension's good, brakes are good. This thing will see a lot of track time and it's a backflip time. I actually was just on Marketplace talking to a guy who had a V6 manual Mustang. New edge. That's exactly what my other car is. And I think we might can pull it out of there for like seven to 800 bucks. And it has a rebuilt motor, 80,000 miles on a rebuild, as well as no other problems. And the transmission's good as far as I know. Let's go take a look at this thing. We're gonna go drive. Sean, drive from here about an hour away and meet up with this guy and see what this car is all about. Oh, we're back in my hometown again. I'm kind of nervous. I'm buying this Degum car. Hopefully this thing works and runs. Cause I'm just really expecting it to be perfect just like the red car was. So hopefully it is. That place that looks like a bowling alley. That's where I learned how to weld. That's it son. 
That's the car right there. Oh, it's everything you would ever expected of a freaking V6 Mustang to be. Straight up gonna make this a drift missile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this. That's just me. This is literally perfect, bro. There's nothing better than this. Wow. See that new fuel regulator in there? Wow, seeing one of these put back together is just a, a sight that I'm not used to at the moment. So as far as that goes, I've been doing some burnouts. All right. Wow, that's definitely a familiar sound. Let her rip tighter tip. Wow, it's nice having a car that goes into second gear. <laughs> Tired. That's a mirror, man. Yeah, that, uh, that little bit of sway right there is from that ball going. But like I said, I'll bring it by. I'll try to get a hold of you and bring it by sometime this week. Yeah, you turn off here at the police station. Ooh, that thing sways a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that sways a lot. I mean, but on the interstate, it really doesn't do too bad. I mean, as long as you can keep your wheels straight, you're good. joint you'd be able to feel it kind of like moving around on the wheel but that's that's rear steer because i can move the front wheels and it's still it's still dog tracking behind me the motor runs good you do what you want but <laughs> i didn't get it it was got a few problems need to be uh need to be lined out but the body wasn't in good condition the drive line was the transmission was great that was that was one part about it the transmission really was great Transmission and motor were great. He wouldn't take what the car was worth realistically, so we just pass on it. And yeah. It's really not that hard to pass on a car that's not yours. Yeah, better to just pass now. Maybe hold out, get something better later. Yeah, exactly. So I guess we're rolling back. I tried to pull it, but I couldn't. Oh, my truck got towed because I never moved it. Life is tragic. So I'm calling the tow truck company to see if I can call the tow truck company to have them bring the truck from the tow truck company to the house. Um, I was wondering if it's possible for y'all to tow it to my house and I could pay y'all whatever fees. Okay, where would it be getting towed to? Let me go pull that invoice. Okay, give me just a few minutes. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Hey, do you own that truck? Yes, ma'am. All right, it's 24018. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Damn. 250 bucks. Hey, look, it's my truck. <laughs> oh, what the heck he doing? I'm just filming it. He's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. The old poke truck's unloaded. Good deal. Adios, tow guy. Hola, truck. It's been a minute since you've been at the house. You ready to get some injectors? Oh boy, that's literally the next step with this thing. I'm gonna rebuild the injectors inside of this truck. Man, still just can't get enough of that. All right, well, let's go ahead. Work on this dang on dirt bike. I'm gonna get as far as I can as far as taking things apart on this thing. Don't know how far I'm gonna get right now, but I'm gonna strip this bike down. We need to get to the valves. So basically, everything from here down needs to come out. And I also wanna change a few things on the grips as well, or on the hand controls as well. Some things need to be adjusted just to fit my rider style a little bit better. But let's go ahead and get this seat off. Yeah. Eh, I could probably use an air filter. I'm looking for any oil inside of here. Looking for signs of a leaky injector because this is in fact a fuel injected bike. It's a 2010. I don't see any signs of oil coming out back to the air box. Because typically if the injector leaks, then it could possibly leak back into the air box. It's gonna get a new air filter because that's dirty. Oh dang, this thing's so freaking simple. I guess the fuel tank mounting brackets are down here, which makes sense. It's a big tank. There's no longer a place to hold it down right there. Well, that's not efficient.
All right, gas tank's off. Now getting the spark plug boot off the top. Move this junk out to the side. There's gonna be tens most likely. So, check her out. Getting the first look of what this thing actually looks like under here. Pretty good. That doesn't look bad at all. Flashlight in here. Everything looks really clean. Let me make sure the valve train's working. Where is that sound coming from? All right, well, now I'm gonna take out this mount right here. That engine mounts in my way. All right, so I went ahead and got the oil out of the bike and transmission fluid out of the bike, and I unbolted this whole cradle right here. So most of this should be able to just pop off here. There we go. Looks like the whole air box is gonna try and come with it. There's a second clamp in here. I just can't get to it. There it is. I can get to it. Come on in. What do you got there? Oh boy. Oh, it's even making the sounds and everything too. Oh yeah. There you go. She's fresh. Oh, it is fresh. I already made an intro video. Heck yeah, dude. That's dope. I'm trying to get the air box off the back of this bike. Oh.